feel something building up inside me. I must prepare, I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady for you. Lord, I'll go for green living. Hey guys, I'm building the column for the Adobe oven that we're building during the Coventhon. Of course, you'll see the finished product of the, the Adobe oven during the Coventhon. You see, I got a piece of big piece of white oak stump. Believe me, it won't rot out of there. It'll be there longer than I ever consider being on this planet. But I'm filling it up. Cob all the way up as I go along. And that'll keep the keep it airtight in the center. I'm gonna clean out these joints and I'll let y'all see a little bit more. Got them cleaned up a little bit. They look a little better. It does look pretty good, don't it? Look even better with a nice Adobe oven on top. Just a little reminder on how I mix my mortar mix for rocks. Two buckets of sifted clay, five gallon buckets, one bucket of five gallon bucket of sand, and about two and a half gallons of water, and mix it up well. That's what I use for mortar. All right, there we go. We got it all finished up and. Got a top layer on it, let that dry for a few hours, and then we'll put our bricks. Okay, I jumped ahead a little bit. What I did was I I cut out the board for the door size I wanted, and you know, so I had a permanent door going over. I just very easily, you know, this is two boards. I'll show you the back side. Just uh, a board in between. So they're just... I thought they were sitting on there, but if you look, that none of them were touching. But I put one on top of each other, just around there, and put some cob mortar in there. One on top of each other. Put a little layer of cob over it. Sorry, cracked there, which I'm fixing to touch that up. But I laid out bricks all across the bottom of the adobe oven so that I'll have a good surface area, and I'm going to clean that up and. Uh, put some clay cob in there but I put these bricks on the outer edge I think that'll add extra strength and of course I'm gonna want the the cob the adobe at least that thick going over the top and, and maybe even thicker but I wanted to be able to hold the sand there so when I do it so this is where I'm at yeah, I could have. Well, it's, it's a matter of uh, money. <laughs> yeah. He's got that good red clay here. We do know. So you started with sand, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, now. All right. Everybody listen? <laughs> All right. I'll start. Uh, this is a. Uh, my mixture i have sand in my soil right here and how i determined that was i took some of that dirt i put it in a mason jar half full of water and i shook it around and what sinks to the bottom immediately is your sand content you want 50 50 a mix for for this so so i had uh, quite a bit uh that sank to the bottom then I had quite a bit that was suspended. The clay will suspend itself in the water. So I use two buckets of clay and one bucket of sand because I got sand in there already. Now if it was good, I mean this is pretty good, but if it was solid, well that's actually mostly clay, uh, clay anyway, but uh, if you had more clay content like gray gray clay or something like that you would, you would want to use like a bucket and a half of sand you know to every bucket of, uh, because you want it to be like mortar uh, it, you want it to hold its shape to, and 
the clay will bond to the sand and create strength in in that. So, but I'm filling up another bucket, and I'm about to show somebody how to. When you're making the bulk, like to fill in, is it okay to just leave all those little stones and trash in there? Yeah, it just it's hard on your hands and your feet. I mean, it's a. Mm. I mean, uh, when you carve this much, <laughs> you know, your hands will get places like that, you know, where you just wear out the skin right on the palm of your hand because when you go to apply cob on the side of a on the side of a house or something, it's it'd be looser than what we make here. This this we're making thick because we have to make a dome there, but it'll be looser, and you get about a handful in your hand, and you lay it flat, and you push it on there, you know, pushing it into the straw bed. Would gloves be better? Uh, you can start out with gloves, uh, but I promise you after 10 minutes you'll be like, ah, take off the gloves. <laughs> because they'll be so heavy with cob and... No tear. Somebody's already leaving? I'm, a, I'm old fashioned with tools. Yeah. I use, I use Mason's tools to do mine and it works pretty good for me. <laughs> Mason tools? Yeah. Yeah. The trowels. Assorted trowels. Will you start mixing it up for me? Just uh -huh. chop up the No, this, this oh, right here. Oh, the, okay. Yeah, so, he's going to mix that up a little bit. I, I still got two more buckets to do. This is a. You can use a concrete yeah. mixer uh, or you can use the black tarp. I'm going to show you both, both methods. Uh, for this thickness, uh, you can't use a cement mixer, but I have a cement mixer and we'll be using one tomorrow for the rocket mass because it can be a lot thinner. Uh, is this going to be for the adobe oven? Yeah, this is for the adobe oven. Okay, and that's a, an example? Well, it's oh, the that's the start of it. That's the base. The oven. <laughs> the base? Oh, it's not finished yet? No, it's, it's, just, it's just the base. I built the base because uh, it's just stacked rocks. It's just, I stack rocks and I, I use cob mortar. Uh, I have a, a video on YouTube if anybody wants to see how uh, I did that. I do all this with this the cob mortar. Uh, it, I just made a circle, then I filled it in packed it down you know so uh, but is, is did you the mortar different from the regular cob more sand more more like you, you still put straw in it though no I don't put any straw in the mortar uh, because uh, you get there, I, there's a place up there on that wall and anybody wants to see it uh, I have straw sticking out everywhere and I, I didn't like the look of that so I stopped using straw in there and I found out, you know, it's just, just making regular mortar. Uh, but let me get this filled up. I'll go back to it. I had straw sticking out on the rocket stove I made. I took my little burns of matic lunch. <laughs> <laughs> now straw will make it stronger. I mean, it, there's nothing wrong with straw making it stronger. With with the stones, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't make it stronger. It, it, it'll make it, it weaker if the more straw you add. So because less mortar is filled that spot. Yes, exactly. There's uh, kids running around. Playing and once it deteriorates, it's it's gone. So. Well, that, so he's saying that if you're just to use just straight mud and sand, you need a something to hold it together. But he's saying since you use rocks, you don't need all that to... Yeah. Bam, bam. <coughs> if everybody doesn't know him, that's Bam Bam. That's our dog, so... He's a sweetheart.
I'm sure you don't mind taking a rest in between. <laughs> <laughs> Not my fair share of shoveling, I know. I'll slow down in a minute. Man, I wish we had <laughs> dirt like this up at our place. So this is the old fashioned way of mixing. No, no, that's not that. Oh, okay. Right there, yeah. Right. No, it's too difficult to Making something that will walk together. Hey, called you ready? Water. Sure. <laughs> okay. Huh? Yeah, kind of. Somebody will handle her water for her. Uh, no, no. Thank you. What you wanted this uh, this consistency to be thicker than peanut butter. Uh, peanut butter. Yeah, because this we want to be able to just take some and make it into a, a brick shape if you want to. Well, took a little bit in there. And then now you can stand in the middle and just kind of work that in. Oh, Nick, that's going to be your time. That'd be real good. When you want to be. And we'll see this good for you. Be. <laughs> when you're ready to turn it and mix it around, we'll, we'll, we'll roll it like a burrito again. You can mix it with your uh, feet, but uh, there'll be some on the bottom and stuff, you'll see. Okay. When, and eventually you'll... Uh, Working all the calluses on. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, people pay high money to go get that put on their face and feet. I know, we get it for free here. I know. <laughs> if you want to come over, I can give you some. <laughs> <laughs> How much water? Well, this, this really, it depends so on how much people spot So people uh, spot treatments. <laughs> something in there to support it. I'm going to take a wet sand and mm -hmm. build a sand castle though. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to take some wet That's newspaper right and cover that up and then the thick okay. cob that she makes, we're going to we're going to cover it up with that. We'll make these, uh, you have to get your hands in it and make these little balls and then they just go around and just go right over that. And then when we're done, with, when it's dried, uh, we'll take out the uh, doorway and we just dig out the sand and lightly break out the sand until you get to the newspaper and then you stop digging. So, okay. Let me get the hay real quick and uh, so well, you're doing pretty good. I've got it. Show us your lovely feet. What? <laughs> I said it's my first time. Very <laughs> <Good job. laughs> <Yeah>, impressive. <laughs> So it's the plastic bucket doing the same thing, just a different technique. Yeah. It, you won't get it as mixed as well as the tar, but. Uh, yeah, you got you got a twist. Oh, you're filming. No, I'm not. You got a twist. If you're gonna make fire brick, you're gonna pull it. No, we're not oh, filming. I do this. No. Come on, twist. Twist, Crystal. <laughs> Two buckets of sand for every bucket of red dirt. Yeah, one bucket of sand. Two buckets. Yes. Hey, honey. Red rain. Red rain. Outdoor kitchen. I'm filming too, so.
Actually, a lot of people don't know this, but we're in a uh, gold belt. Seriously. All these creeks around here have gold in them. <laughs> the first gold rush was in uh, uh, Alabama and over towards uh, Georgia. Cleveland. Now, also, yes, sir. Over 700 also ounces come that. out of these here. Wow. I heard that it was it was in quartz. Uh, you're talking about Kings, uh, Kings Mountain. I had found a piece of quartz. Saw a piece of quartz one time. It looked like it had gold in it. You know how to get out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you got a post hole driver, just post hole diggers. Post hole uh, driver drives a post down. Oh no. One of those. Uh huh. And uh, get you a uh, metal ball. <laughs> Just bust the it up, bust up the rock. Bucket, like, and then you it keeps it out. your stuff all in one spot. Find the grain and pan it out. This looks like a nugget. It likes to get stuck in those nits and crannies. That or they, <laughs> some people would get the acid on them. And, and it's very it heavy. Yeah, so getting the rocks out of it is comparing it. Yes, that's where that wire comes in contact. Man, baby, what's the hell? <laughs> You're smoking, so mostly you're still going to smoke out the front. Well, you build the fire in the back and you let it burn up and you keep adding wood to it. And then you rake all the fire out and you close the door. And then you're, so you just bake it with the heat that's that's absorbed in. Absorbed into the. Oh, I got you. It'll be this thing. So it's like a microwave, then. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so that's. So you're just gonna make a sand dome, right? <laughs> sand dome, yeah. And that'll provide your structure. Yep, so I can adobe right over it. <laughs> What's that you shovel have any newspaper? <coughs> Are you opposed to using the shovel? No. Just when he finishes the dome. Do you need Do you need to wet all that or just the stuff on top? Uh, I'm gonna end up with, uh, there, was a, there was a bunch of water in it. Daniel, so, do you need new newspaper? Yes, I need newspaper. Let me go get some out of the truck for you. Okay. I need to pass my fire bricks around. It shows shows each step, step by step. I wanted to have well, a screen off for everyone, but it was like too <laughs> 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 I think we got now. Yeah. So we're filling up, making a dome to support the mud or the cob. So basically when you get done putting the cob on top and it dries, you'll pull the sand back out. Yeah, through the door. Through the door there. I'll take this door off right here and I'll just rake it out. And see, so you put wet newspaper over this and you dig till you find the wet newspaper. <laughs> Daniel, how long does it take the top to dry? It'll be dry enough tomorrow that I can take out all the sand. So. Okay. Does, does it have like a curing Daniel, period? How many, how old? 
Okay, we're mixing in the straw now. Is that just regular hay or? Yeah. This is where it's going to get hard. Now, did you chop? Somebody chop that for you? What? I think I can. Okay. I told him about 75 hot dogs. So. Did Did you have to chop that up, or did somebody else? Uh, they, no, that's actually what we've recycled uh, okay. from the walls. Yes, David and Sarah. <laughs> oh, they went back? <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. We know what another person is moving down because we used to break everybody. You have to go back to the family. Okay. Yeah. What's what's the what's the ratio of? Normally, it's about uh, a bucket. Yeah, loose, loose. You know. I'm gonna have to have some more water. You are, or the mud is. Yeah, the mud's gonna have to have some water because it's. You have to have water, and the mud has to have water. Yeah. Well, we can pour some in there and pour some on you. You need some more water? Probably. 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 Mine was thicker than hers this was. Lady. So. Yeah. Uh, she got a little I'll, extra water. Yeah. Uh, I lost my drink. Daniel, oh, yes, I thought please. you said you were not adding straw. I don't yeah, know. I, I think you've got there on that straw. Yes, I don't top. add to the mortar. Oh, okay. I add straw to. See, what's going to happen? This is going to get up to. 600 degrees, 700 degrees, and it's going to turn it into a fire brick, all the, the whole dome. So it'll be a cured uh, hot piece of pottery, you know, and uh, it'll it'll crack and it'll have its own personality. It'll have cracks in it when it heats up and it'll open up. And, uh, I guess you're well, doing the work. I'm just doing the serving. Awesome. I need to some more. You're doing a very good job. <laughs> That's what the Lord calls us to do. That's what we do. Yeah. Now this is the fun part. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, let's get a let's get a picture of that. <laughs> how many how many times have you actually fallen? I don't know. More than you can count. I, not much in this, but uh, coming in behind. Yes, baby. Can you do it? Of course. Somewhere. Excuse me, is someone watching your children? I only have one. Oh. Her friends are. She's playing with uh, JJ Akers' children. Yes, she is. She is. She is on cloud nine today. She has someone to play with. That's a serious mud pile. Yeah. Yeah, a heavy mud pile. That's good. See, it holds our form right there. That is brick consistency right there. We have holes are shaped. That's exactly what yeah, we're looking that's for. Brick. See, I can form that into anything. Yes, that's what we want to do, do is to start anybody that wants to. Making, making balls. Making balls. One day. Take your shoes off. Exactly. This is a bucket of mud. Because it is uh, be easier to put on there. Just shaping it into shape. Oh yeah, that's right. The hay sticky. Oh, I just make noises all the time. <laughs> About anything. Just ask John Boy, he'll tell you. I'm probably. I talk to myself. I'm always right now I'm not able to use an oven. So. Okay, how do you use the size of your bricks there? Uh, well, I'm just kind of like picking up <laughs> the bowls and putting them together. As much as you can hold. Yeah, and 
they're going to actually dry out a little bit more. So this is really too small. Well, that's okay. It's, it's just going to dry out a little bit while we're waiting to use it. So they're going to be even thicker. So, well, do you want them to dry out a little bit? Or? Yeah, yeah, we want them to secure a little bit. So, I mean, this is perfect right here. This is the perfect consistency for what we're doing. When we're doing tomorrow, the rocket mass, uh, it'll be thinner. So, Oh, yeah. Do you mean hold your arm while you do it? Say yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, well, I'm here if you need What town is from? Oh, um, about an hour away from Frankfurt, like down towards France and Luxembourg, where all the little, little tiny towns are. The tribe of Gat. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's actually kind of nice because the town I grew up in actually still got their own. Um, Buildings, the sticks and the mud. So the oven is starting to take shape. Yes, sir. Pretty close to having the dome completely finished. Yes. Yeah, the thing is, is you got low spots. Yeah. And so you take some and build it up. Keep the, try to keep it as. I wonder how big around he wants it. I mean, if he wants it more, more. Well, it come to the edge. Right, but I if we keep adding, keep adding to the side. Yeah, where to make it thicker. Low spot. Yeah. I'm catching what's coming off the side. So what is actually the purpose of the newspapers? Uh, oops, not to rip them. <laughs> but they uh, give you a point to clean up once. And it'll, the water keep, line it'll keep the, the sand from binding to the uh, mortar. Cob. Well, we tried to stay with the bridge, but uh, it's not working like the overlap. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Nothing I was trying to keep up with her. She's like got speedy hands. <laughs> <laughs> She's all crafty, yeah. man. She's been looking forward to this for like years. Trying to keep up with her and make sure it's way in the Well, uh, what he just said was to uh, keep the cop from binding with the sand, and that gives you a stopping point whenever you go dig out the sand. Yeah. Put it, put it kind of thick. So, uh, put, I'm gonna try to. You're gonna be making one there. You're gonna be making one of these, ain't you? One fire. Y'all gonna make one there. You're gonna be making one of these. You're gonna be making one of these. Oh, so you don't have a separate chamber for the fire. It's too hot. You don't want it so easily. Put it there. I can do it. Yeah. Okay. Do you have like a rack? Well, if you're cooking on the camp fire, you put your hand over the bucket and feed it away. You have a brush. You put that brush. You leave that brush. You have a brush. You have a brush. You have a brush, you rake out all the ashes so they don't get on there, and then you throw cornmeal on there, you know, so nothing you put in there is going to stick. Like you put a pizza in there, you know, cornmeal, um, that's what you use your pizzas anyway, in stone oven. So oh man, like the funnies! Just kind of stack it up around them. Yep, just stack them up around, just kind of blend them together, and just make a, just make it about that thick all the way over. Pull, pull that one a little bit closer to the front, so it's all one, yeah. Of 
course, you can flatten it and make it into the to the front itself. Try to blend them together. That's what he's doing over here on this side. Where's the fire burning? Inside that chamber. Take a look at the inside. Yeah, cause see, you're making like one one block out of all of it. What do you use as a door once you finish, Dad? Wood. The same thing? Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's, that's kind of thick because of the brick. Uh, does does the outside thickness need to be a keep up with the brick? Now this uh, straw will burn out once it gets hot and creates a fire brick. It'll create a uh, pockets, air pockets in the brick. Here, I'll start able to hold heat. <laughs> That's the sound of the wind <laughs> working on a change. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to kind of blend these in right here. Yeah. Now he's keeping this side a little bit thicker over here. Hey, see, he's oh, he's yeah. laying them on top of each yeah, other and, and going up. Instead of mashing them in, put yeah. Them, put them to actually do the layers. Like a brick. Did you check out the template on the other side? Yeah, that's... I'm trying not to go too far. That's why I was, I was wondering if he was trying to keep a certain thickness. Yeah, thick. <laughs> thick holds heat. Yeah. Are you going to be putting a second layer on top of this after it dries? Unless you're like me and you like to build fires. <laughs> fire! 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 Well, it, it, it'll, uh, uh, the straw and the, the unevenness of it, it'll, it'll attach. So, uh, okay. On the ground. You could, if you had to, come down with some of these rocks that are sticking out on the side to help support it. I'm going to. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to go all the way down to that bottom layer of uh, so eventually you're going to cover it, ooh, excuse me, even the rocks with all of it. You're just going to have one solid round looking dome? No, not the rocks. No, okay. But, but, but you're talking about where the brick's at? To the bottom of the brick. Okay. okay. All, all dome. Okay. We're going to leave it right here. Just coming to check the progress of the stove. We still need to add some more mud to the sides. But it looks like it's drying nicely. Get a better picture. And he'll just make a wooden door to go back on the front and maybe even use the same door that's already on there. But we need to add some more mud to the to the sides and build it up some more where it's level with the roof. Make it thicker. So it'll hold the heat better. Alright, I went ahead and added another thick layer on there, you know, to finish out the top for after the cobathon. You can see how much I went up compared to the other pictures. And we had a little bit of a storm the other night. And the canopy I had <laughs> blew away. 
just kind of rolled up in a ball and rolled away. I had bricks on it, rocks on it. It's just a high gust of wind. It's got a nice little crack all the way around right there. I guess it's drying at different stages. For what I hear, they're all going to crack, so ain't much I can do about that. Try to fill it in something. <laughs> I'll let you see the next step. Okay, got a nice pretty mound all the way over there now. I already took out two of the screws that were in there. You can see where I had a spacer there. And it's stuck in there. You have to wedge it out, get this mud out. All right, I wanted you to see this is where I got that unwedged. I wanted you to see first with me, same time. Same time, oh, sand. It did it. So now I have to dig out all this sand. That won't be a problem. I put it in that concrete mixer right there and we'll see how the dome turns out. Oh, sorry again. I wanted to give y'all a brief though. Look, on the inside, see, I'm digging out right to the newspaper. It's pretty cool. It worked perfect. The sand just falls right off there. Live in the way you meant for me to live Is what I strive to do every day As I live off the land Leave me at your pace for you, Lord, I'll go for green living. Help me to feed all the hungry. Use me, Lord, to ease their misery. From all this worldly pain and captivity. For you, Lord, I'll go for green living. I feel something building up inside me <laughs> I must prepare, I must get ready Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady For you, Lord, I'll go 